guys, what's going on? My name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another wig review. I know what you're thinking, you've been doing a lot of these lately, and yeah, I have. I really like wigs. I feel like it changes your whole look, and you can be a whole different person if you want to. Plus, I am really hoping this summer to do a lot more cosplays, and I need some wigs for it. So today we're going to be reviewing a wig from Uni Wigs. They did send this to me, but you know, my opinion's my own. They didn't ask me to say anything, so yay! Let's get started with today's video. Alright guys, before we get started, I put you out every single freaking day, so if you want to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. So the wig comes in this nice little box. It tells you where it's from. Do to do. Then you open it up and wrapped in tissue paper, you get your wig. I chose another ratty orange one. I have a couple cosplays planned, and the one I've been using that's kind of ratty orange that I got from uh, eBay is really tangled. So I wanted something that is higher quality, and this one is really long. So let's open it up. Okay, so this is the wig. Uh, it looks really good. It's really long. Like This is some length. Like I'm stretching my arm up as <laughs> much as it'll go. It's very soft and silky. I don't think it's too shiny down towards the ends. I do feel like the roots are a little bit shiny, but I could probably dry shampoo and fix that so it looks a little more natural. The lace hairline looks very good. I cut this already, um, but you can still see the hairline. And you can also see the sparse parting right here. So I probably won't have to pluck the part to make it look more realistic. I think it's probably going to be pretty good. I am pretty excited. The only thing I'm not crazy about, which makes zero, zero difference in the wig itself, is I don't like these tiny little short pieces right here under the wig cap. You're not going to see it ever. I just, it just looks weird to me. In the inside of the wig, you do get three clips, four clips. I'm glad this one actually has one underneath here. I feel like that's the most important one to me. More so than these sides or the top clip. And then you also get these two bottom straps as well, which are already kind of, um, yeah, you get like five adjustments on it. So I'm going to go cut the lace now and then we'll try it on. Okay, so I cut the lace and they do provide a wig cap for you, but I don't want to open it a pack. I found that the wig itself I love the density towards the bottom as I was like brushing it out to get ready to uh, try it on. I love the density at the bottom. I think it's a very beautiful color. When you actually look at it up close, it looks like it's different tones of orange and red to make up this like beautiful coppery color, which I really appreciate. But because it, it is so long, it can tend to look kind of stringy. So I do recommend putting a little bit of like a mousse or a product in it if you are going to wear it for a long period of time. Not just for pictures, because it can get a little bit stringy, but, you know, that's kind of what you expect when you get a really long wig. So, let's put it on. We'll see if I did a good job cutting the lace or not. I think I could have cut it a little bit closer, but the lighting I was working with wasn't the best. Okay, so this is the wig on. I tried it first to kind of part it to the side, but I found that these little pieces right here really just want to fold over. So, I feel like it needed to be kind of parted in the middle. Unless I kind of pulled these back, if I tied these couple pieces back, I could part it where I wanted to. But these pieces right here want to do this weird swoop thing. Um, but I could just take a like a low heat kind of straightening brush and kind of run it through to kind of fix that. I might have to do that. But make sure you do it on a low heat because this is synthetic hair. Um, here is the length. It's very long. It's like down to my hips long. I personally think I would trim it, but I'm really happy with the density down here. Like it feels good. It feels good. I really like the color. I think the color is beautiful. If I had like coppery uh, eyebrows with it, I'm pretty sure I'd be in love right now because I love these colors on me, even though I don't pull it off in real life, but with a wig, I feel cute in them. Um, hairline, I would add a little bit of concealer in there to just make it look more like a real scalp. I think I would tie these pieces that want to fold over back to make them look cuter. But yeah, I'm like really happy with it. I, I love the color a lot. I think the style is good. I don't really have that many straight wigs, but it's like a silky straight. It's not just like a hard stringy hair. It's like a silky feeling. 
I don't know. I think it feels good. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to definitely post pictures on Instagram wearing this wig. And it's probably going to be in at least two cosplays I have lined up. I can't wait for you guys to see them. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please check out the link down below if you want to get this for yourself. Because I do recommend it. I think it's really pretty. It feels real nice. Quality's good. I'm happy. I haven't had any shedding either. I brushed it out twice already. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!